thought is that the Bible is to make us docile, right? Give me uh, Ezekiel 37 and 10. So if I read you, um, if I read you a story, right? Uh, if I, you, you read the three little pigs? Yeah. Right, the three little pigs, they had, they built three houses, okay? The one they made out of sticks. If I stop, after we read the one out of the sticks, right, and we stop reading right there, you never know that they got smart made one out of bricks. You know, so everybody would think that the, the pigs were stupid and their house got blown down, the wolf ate them up, right? But if you read to the end, you get the true meaning of the story, right? So this is what they did. We couldn't read for a time. And they would sit here and read us certain parts of the Bible. They wouldn't read us the important parts. They wouldn't read us the end, okay? So let me show you what the Bible is made. Is it, is it here to make us docile? I'll read what you got. Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 10. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as he commanded me, uh -huh. and the breath came into them, yep. and they lived. So we're going to prophesy unto you. Prophesy unto this sister right here. Y'all together? All praises, all praises. Y'all going to get married? That's a good thing, right? Read on. And they lived uh -huh. and stood up upon their feet. We stood upon our feet, read. An exceeding great army. What, are we, what is God making? An exceeding great army. Does that sound like docile? Do that sound like he making us tambourine players? Or what is God making us? Yeah, to be an army. To be an army, right? Now, guess what? The people that rape, robbed, and murdered you, Okay. Give me Psalms 137 and 7. We're going to start there. Because these parts, they're not going to read you in the Bible. It's up to you to read it yourself. Your brothers done read it. So now I get to read you the good news. Okay? Watch this. We're going to Psalm 137. Okay? In verse 7. Psalm chapter 137 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Uh -huh. the, children, the children of Edom is the white people that took us into slavery. Gave us their last name. That's who they are today. Read. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it. Race it, R-A-S-E means destroy it. Not raise it, it said race it. Like erase it, right? Read on. Even to the foundation thereof. They, they destroyed our country and our nationality to the damn foundation. To where we don't know who we are, read. O daughter of Babylon. They are the, dar the, the daughter of Babylon, read on. Who are to be destroyed. I said we are to destroy them. They are to be destroyed. Do this sound like tambourine players? No. Read on. Happy shall he be. Happy shall you be. Read. That rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Uh -huh. We're going to reward them the same way they rewarded us. Meaning the same thing they did to us, you're going to get to do to them. Right? Read on. Happy shall he be uh -huh. that taketh and dashes. Thy little ones against the stone. So the same way they took our babies and dashed them against the stone, meaning killed them. He said, happy shall you be when you get your revenge. God going to give you your revenge. Read. But, uh, chapter 38. Uh, I want, I want uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. Because the idea is this is to make you soft. Right? But this is the real plot. Let's read it to him in such a way to where we'll, we'll include everybody. We'll read little bits and parts. We'll say love your neighbors, you love yourself. But I'm not going to tell you who your neighbor is. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to, all the love that you got, you pointed and sharing it with all your enemies. You see that? And now we got hatred for each other. That's not the point. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. God said he's going to have mercy on Jacob. That's the blacks. That's the Hispanics. The Israelites, according to the Bible. That's who we are. That's who we be. Read. And will yet choose Israel. After all the wrong we did, after all the idolatry we did, the murders, the drug sales, all the stuff we did. We was having sex outside of, uh, outside of marriage, shooting one another, killing one another. If we repent, God said, after all of that, he's still going to choose you above everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you got kids, you know, and there's other kids out here running around. But if your kid being bad, you give him a whooping, you still going to choose your son over the next man's son. You always going to love your children, but your son got to repent. He got he to gotta get right, and then daddy can give him his, his gifts, right? Read on. And set them in their own land. God said, I'm going to sit you back in your own land. We're the only people on the planet that's not in their own land. Where is our land? Yep. Africa. That's a big continent, right? So now, in Africa, there's 3,000 tribes and 2,000 languages. Which language and which tribe did you come from? We don't know that. You see that? We come from Northeast Africa. That's right. Jerusalem. Bring it out. Give me that in uh, Galatians 4 yes, and 25, right? Because, yeah, now we're going to find out our homeland. We're learning at the same time. We're we, 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 we learning some things on the way to learning some things, right? So first, 
We read that we not, we not, it's not here to make us weak and docile. It said it's going to make us an exceeding great army. We're going to get vengeance on our enemies, right? Read what you got. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem is right here. Northeast Africa, this little dot right here, that's Jerusalem. Okay? It said Jerusalem is free, read. Which is the mother of us all. That's your motherland. That's your homeland, right? Now go back to uh, Isaiah 14. So is it supposed to make us weak or is it supposed to make us strong? Exceeding great army. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel. After all that we did, if we repent and change, he's still going to choose you because he loves you more than everybody. Right? Read on. And set them in their own land. We're going to go back to Africa, northeast Africa, Jerusalem. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the other nations, the other nations, they're going to come with us too, read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave unto the house of Jacob. They're going to hold on to us. We wonder why, right? They'll stop reading right there, right? And they sound like we're supposed to join together. But what the church don't do, they don't keep reading. We're going to keep reading, read. And the people shall take them. You're going to take the strangers, the white man, Chinese man, uh, Indian man. You're going to take them, read. And bring them to their place. We're going to put them in their place, read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. You're going to possess your enemies and your land for servants and handmaids. Meaning they're going to be your slaves, read. And they shall take them captive. You're going to take them slaves, read. Who captives they were. The slaves you used to be. You used to be their slave. Now they're your slaves. You see that? So is God making you weak or is he making you strong? He making us strong, right? Right. Yeah, because they're not going to read that to you, right? So now, as we learn and we learn it, this Bible is real. How do we know? I'm going to show you. Y'all ready? Because uh, give me Isaiah 46 and 9. I'm, the Bible, because God, cause he can speak for himself. If God is God, he should have a way to prove that he's real, right? Here you go. Because he knew we was going to think the way. He knew we was going to say the way we was going to say. So watch this. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Remember the former things of old. Uh -huh. For I am God yep. and there is none else. Yep. I am God yep. and there is none like me. He said, I'm God and ain't nobody like me. How so? I'm going to explain to you why. Read. Declaring the end from the beginning. He said I declare the end from the beginning. Meaning everything that's going to happen in your present and future. I already wrote about it. Right? Read on. And from ancient times, yep. the things that are not yet done. All right, so here we go. We're going to declare the end from the beginning. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is written over thousands and thousands of years ago. Tell me if it happened or not. God said I'm a God of prophecy. That's how you know I'm real. Nobody else, Quran ain't got no prophecy in it. Buddhism ain't got no prophecy in it. A prophecy is, I tell you what's going to happen in the future. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Were we discontinue from our heritage just like the Bible said? Yes, we was. Read. That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. You're going to lose your nationality, and you're going to have to serve your enemy in a land that you don't know. Didn't, didn't that happen to us? We lost our nationality, and we're here in America serving white folks, picking their cotton. We working their jobs. You see what I'm saying? Just like the Bible said, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. We want to keep looking at this photo, because this, this is not a Bible picture. This is a history book picture. Remember, God said, I declared the end from the beginning. You see that? He declared the end from the beginning. So your history is already written about thousands of years ago. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt, which means slavery. I'm going to bring you into slavery for a second time. Read. With shit. How are we going into slavery? With shit. How do we go into slavery? Yeah, me and you. Just like the Bible said, right? So, so far, so far, you're going to lose your nationality. You're going to serve your enemy in a land you don't know. And you're getting there with slave ships. It's the Bible saying. Read on. With ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. You been back to Jerusalem? He said you ain't never going to see your homeland again, just like the Bible said. So, so far the Bible is accurate. Read on. 
Thou shalt see no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold. Once you get off those slave ships, you're going to be what? So You're going to be what? So You know that this is in the Bible? Read on. Unto your enemies. Uh -huh. The people that bought you and gave you their last name, God said that's your enemies. Remember in Jeremiah 17, it said you was going to serve your enemies in a land you didn't know not? He said that same enemy was going to put you on slave ships and sell you. Right. Read on. Right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. He said he's going to sell you. you know, uh, 35, 45. I noticed you grew to slavery. Yeah. I'm you vibing with it. It's, it's hitting your spirit. Look at the sign over here, right? Watch this one. Look what it say. This is a real receipt. This is a real life receipt. The Bible said you're going to be sold. It say to be sold a cargo. Negroes. Look how much they were selling us for. $1,200. You see that? You see that? So, so far the Bible is accurate. It's right. It said, God said, ain't none like me. I declare the end from the beginning. Read. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men, for slave men, bond women, and slave women, and no man shall buy you. Nobody gonna redeem you. Nobody gonna buy your freedom. So far as the Bible right or wrong, it's right, right. So guess what? Verse forty-eight. I give you one more, and then I'm gonna start giving you some correction. Cause we're, guess what? We're gonna go from weak in slavery. We're gonna repent and become strong and rule this place like we read earlier. Right. You know what I'm saying? So read what you got. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. God said you're going to have to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger, For food, and in thirst, water, and in nakedness, clothing, and in want of all things. Anything you want in this life, you got to go to your enemies to get it. You see that? Anything you want in this life, you got to go to them. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Your enemy shall do what? He gonna put a yoke of iron upon your neck. You see that? God is real. He wrote this 3,000 years ago. And it just happened to us a couple hundred years ago. Right? Read on. Until he have destroyed thee. Until we destroy. Are we destroyed? Hell yeah. yeah he said that's black culture, right? They took our godly culture that God gave us and now they gave us black culture. What's black culture? Rap music. Guess what they talk? Guns. Violence. You know what I'm saying? What about the women? Right, right. Because we was in that lifestyle. We was in that lifestyle. We all come from that lifestyle. Look at all these brothers. You see tambourine players over here? You see, you, man, I can, I can relate to anything you tell me about because I've been out here just like you, right? God waking up the low men to take over this world. Tambourine players not going to take over this world. You know what's cold about, uh, give me Daniel uh, 7 and 18. This is why the Lord, he waking up strong men. It's, I need a strong man to lead a strong woman, right? And now when, when strong families get together, we become a strong nation. That's the whole point. Watch this. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High. The saints is the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? You know? Shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. We got to take the kingdom. We got to take it. You know what I'm saying? And we got to possess it. Read. Forever. Even forever and ever. Guess what? Forever. Tambourine players ain't doing that. That's our people not doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole point. Knowing that we Israel. So far, uh, God said the Israelites are going to go into slavery on slave ships. Who is that pointing at? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Okay, they were going to lose their nationality and serve their enemies. That's talking about us, right? So now knowing that we the Israelites, what does God require of me and you? Because I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna kill two birds and one stone, right? I'm gonna show you what God require of us, the prophecy of us doing that, and what would happen in two scriptures. You ready? Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Alright? So I'm gonna show you the requirement. Show you the prophecy that we did it. 
and then show you what happened after we do it. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you? Sis, sis. What uh, sister right here, uh, Jarrell, what's, what's my sister name here? Because this is a good point to bring her in. My sister, my sister, my sister. You believe in God, right? Okay, so we're on the point of what does God require of us. We're reading it. Watch this. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. We got to fear God, read. To walk in all his ways. Uh -huh. And to love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God yep. with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Yep. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So to fear him, to walk in his ways, to love him, it means to keep his commandments. So God want me and you to keep his commandments, okay? Now give me Deuteronomy 30 and 2. God got it prophesied that we was going to do that. By the foolishness of preaching, you're going to be walking by one day a full nigga, not knowing who you was. Somebody was going to read out of, your, out of the Bible something that made so much sense like that you said, had no really choice to change. I, said, I was not looking for this. Um, I was not looking for this when I found it. I was going around looking for how Rome fell, and I was just being a regular nigga. But this made so much sense to me, I had no choice to, but to change. You see that? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 2. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. God said, we're going to return. It's already written. we go going to return, read. And shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. We're going to start to listen to God's commandments. We're going to start to keep God's commandments again, read. Thou and thy children, you're going to start to keep the commandments, and then you're going to start to teach them to your children. I'm going to keep the commandments. I'm going to start to teach them to my children. Read. With all thine heart. With all your mind. And with all thy soul. With all your soul. That the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. It was on the bottom. Now I got to turn your captivity. Now you on the top. You start to keep the commandments. You teach them to your kids. I keep the commandments. I teach them to my kids. God said, now I take you from the bottom and put you on the top. Read. And have compassion upon thee. Now I get to have compassion upon you. So when you go from the bottom to the top, what happened to your enemies? Verse 7. Read. 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses, all the curses that was on you, the slave ships, the famine, uh, the oppression, everything that you went through, read, upon thy enemies. He's going to put it upon the people that bought you. We read that in how many different places? Yeah, that's your destiny. Rulership is your destiny. But first and foremost, you got to keep the commandments. You see that? So here goes some commandments. You ready? Give me uh, Exodus. No, give me Leviticus. Uh, 19 and 17, right? Remember, the prophecy is we're going to keep the commandments and we're going to teach them to their children, right? What do we teach our children nowadays? Y'all got kids? Okay, so one thing you teach a young boy, you got a boy? Okay, cool, cool. You're going to teach a young boy, hey, look, you ain't, you better not be no punk out there. You're going to teach him that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody uh, step on you, 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 you push him back. Hey, my granny told me, my old sweet little granny said, hey, uh, if somebody hit you, you hit him with all your might, baby. You know, so we learn that we learn toughness, right? But if we learn God's commandments, you teach it in your house, I teach it in my house. Would it fix the community? Let's see. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. We, according to God, this is God's commandment, right? We was doing whatever. We've been destroyed, right? But now coming back, I don't care where you're from. I don't care if you east coast, west coast, down south. God said, I cannot hate you in my mind. This is against God's law. I don't care if you blood, crip, vice lord, gangster disciple. I don't care what you is. God said, I cannot hate you in my mind. Right? Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Instead of hating my brother, I should correct him when I see he going on. So if you want to go rob that store for $50, I say, don't do that, man. Police right there. This is correct. This is the love. If I didn't love you, I'll let you do it. I'll be like, whoop, he about to get blurred. You know what I'm saying? That's that's evil. If I love you, I'm going to correct you. And guess what? You need 50. You going in there for $50? Man, I got $50. Take your ass home, man. You know what I'm saying? That's love to your brother. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. And don't allow him to sin. Now, how they do that, how they destroy that, they say snitches get stitches. Right? So wait a minute. Wait a minute. If, if you doing crime with somebody, that's different. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about a pedophile walking in, uh, in the neighborhood, and we don't say nothing. It's like, I don't want to snitch. Now, hell no. We're supposed to say something. 
You know what I'm saying? He can't, he can't do that out here. You know what I'm saying? Real men gonna stand up and stand. What you, what you, what you don't, um, what does it say? What you don't correct, you allow. So that's why you got, you got um, pimping going on in our, in our, in our neighborhoods. Drug use going on in our neighborhoods, right? Because we ain't saying nothing about it. Everybody do their own thing. God said we don't love each other like that. We're not correcting each other. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. I can't get vengeance and hate you forever, right? Ain't that how these gang world wars start? Guess what? My uncle killed your uncle. Long time ago, long time ago. And now we've been fighting for years of bear grudge just because y'all live over there or we live over there. You know what I'm saying? God said we can't do this. Is, this is according to the laws of God. Remember, what if we start doing this? Me and you start doing this. And we teach this to our kids, right? Read on. But thou shalt, oh yeah, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, yep. but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I gotta love my neighbor as myself. The church teaches your neighbor is um, your upstairs neighbor, your downstairs neighbor, right? Go back one verse above. Let's see who our neighbor is. And now it's gonna make sense because look, this Bible is a, it's a book of prophecies for a people, a book of laws for a people, a book of history for a people. That book was stolen from that people and given to everybody else. You see that? You don't know the speed limit in China because it don't matter to you. That's not you. Um, uh, the 49ers don't know the Dallas Cowboys playbook because that don't. they got their own playbook. This is the Israelites' playbook. This is your playbook which was stolen from you, and it's time to give it back to you. This is how we're supposed to move. We're not supposed to move like men to society. We're not supposed to move like, like boys in the hood. Now they got YouTube, they, they got all these um, uh, drill rappers, them are role models now. We're not supposed to move like that. This is our playbook, right? Read what you got. Thou shalt, not have, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Can't hate you. Now I'm going to teach my son, hey, look, you see that brother over here, his son? You can't hate him. Nope, nope, y'all ain't gangbang. You got to love that brother. I don't care where he from. Where he say he from, what he thought, I don't care. You got you to gotta love that brother. What if you talk to the same thing to, to your son? What if you taught that? My son walking around, you say, you see that little brother over there? No matter what, you got to love that brother. Would they ever grow up and kill each other? Hell no. So what happened to gang violence right there? What happened to the murder rate? Just keeping one law. Over. It's over. This is your playbook. This is how we get successful. God not saying, God not saying be weak and tambourine player. He's saying become an exceeding great army. What army shoot each other? Only us. We the only army that shoot each other. You see that? Now what if, what if, we stop doing that. We the fastest runners, the best basketball players, the best singers, best dancers, highest jumpers, hardest punchers. You see what I'm saying? The greatest inventors, the best builders. If we was working together, wasn't killing each other, increasing each other, what would happen? We would be the majority. We would run this place, just like God said. This is what he calling you. He, he actually literally calling you right now from nigga to Godhood. Bring it out. The same way I was over there, nigga to Godhood. Bring it out. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Neighbor, rebuke my neighbor. Let's see who he called my neighbor, read. And not suffer sin upon him. I can't allow my neighbor to sin, right? Read on. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. He called them my neighbor, the children of my people. That's, so your upstairs neighbor, the Chinese dude, he not the children of your people. That's not your neighbor. You see that, read on. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. As thyself, he called him your neighbor again, the children of your people. Now, don't that make sense? When the Bible say thou shalt not kill, is that talking about you don't, don't kill nobody that's at war with you? Or is it saying don't kill your people? That means don't kill your people. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Now the Bible making sense to you. This ain't no fairy tale book. This ain't no hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Dance, dance, dance. This ain't that. This is a war book. This, is the, this, is the, this book is about a people that fell. They repenting and rising again. That's this whole book is talking about. And Christ is the head of that. He the king. Christ is a black man that's going to lead this army. Right. And he calling you to be a part of it. He calling men and women. This is your rib right here. Y'all got to learn how to take care of each other. Because according to, uh, to love and hip hop and all the stuff we're seeing, they got the woman chest bumping the man. The man abusive to the woman. And then they split up. You know what I'm saying? The woman getting uh, money for the man, child support. He can't make a living. You know, so it destroys the man. Then it destroys the children because they miss their damn dad. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they got a void. And then guess what? When they raised up by their women, when they raised up by women, they can't see dad often. Guess who they take to? One of her boyfriends. He sells drugs. They go outside. They sell drugs like the boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? They, they hang on the block like the boyfriend. They want to do everything the boyfriend. And now they're gangbanging. 
You see how it destroys me? What you got? Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. God said gather the nation, O nation, not, de not desire. We got to gather together. Don't nobody like you. White man don't like you. Chinese man don't like you. Arab man don't like you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Cantonese don't like you. Arab don't like you. Don't nobody like us. He said y'all don't need nobody to like y'all. Y'all got to love each other. And how do we love each other? You remember what it said? Don't allow each other to sin. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.